Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10134. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build uh, which we're going to go through now. Now before we begin I must stress this is an unofficial build meaning it leaks to the public in ISO form uh, so I don't recommend installing it as it may be a little bit more buggy than the usual official insider release. Now this build also doesn't include many new changes. From this point onwards these new builds are simply really, I mean Windows 10 is feature complete so from this point onward they will be bug fixes and code tweaks and stuff like that, little things, nothing major, nothing special, nothing surprising etc etc. So if we just dive straight in the first noteworthy change is in the snipping tool. Surprisingly yes, if we go into the snipping tool, uh, it won't search for the snipping tool so I'm going to have to find it manually like uh, someone from the 90s. Let's go into the snipping tool. Nope. What is it? Acce <sighs> accessories? Maybe? Windows accessories? Yes. Windows accessories. Let's go down to the snipping tool which is here. When you open, here we go. So we got the new option here to delay. No idea why it's here. It doesn't, it's not really helpful. So if I, if I delay for three, four seconds and press new, it will wait four seconds until the actual option to take the snip actually it comes up so there you go now i can take the snip and then i can draw all over it like you expect to be able to do on the snipping tool that's really the only new change here i think we go to options there may be a couple new options in here i don't really remember now if we go into the settings app up in here go into windows update and security and go into advanced you can now finally turn insider builds on and off you can also change the ring as per usual now down here is an interesting thing let me try features on this build within this build there may be additional features that aren't generally available let microsoft enable some of these features note windows update might update itself automatically first when checking for other updates so if we check for updates i'm not entirely sure what this does i've had this on for a few minutes now haven't noticed anything different i guess it may not be working in this build yet but it looks like microsoft may be able to enable additional features which aren't enabled by default for Windows Insiders. So maybe things like uh, the jump lists in the earlier builds of the start menu. So I think it was bit 10,036. Uh, you could enable the jump list in the start menu. They were rough and buggy, but you could enable them via a registry string. What this might do is something like that. So it might enable a few things that aren't actually ready yet in early builds so you can test them out. And then when they're actually a bit more ready to go then they will be pushed out by default in future builds that may be what this is but i'm not entirely sure that's just speculation either way there is the option in here to enable things that aren't enabled by default however i haven't noticed anything yet uh anything else in this build i do not think so actually yes there is we're going to the people app actually i say that not entirely sure if this is new to this build or if this is just new as in the update was updated via the windows store but you now get this nice uh intro thing again it's not finished you get this nice icon you can skip it and uh there's a number god damn it now i'm gonna have to blow out that number but yes if we add new this now looks a little bit better no longer is it spanning across the entire screen they're finally fixing up the people app before rtm which is fantastic as you have you found any new updates yet i don't think you have anyway guys i think that's about it for this build like i said from this point onward the builds are simply going to be minor tweaks and changes nothing no new features because we are heading for rtm rtm is in a few weeks now so um yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i shall see you in the next one Bye bye